The spotlight usually lands on the pro athletes, but there are numerous people behind the scenes who never get recognition. We change that today with the passing of Brian Sales, who touched so many in his roles with the Milwaukee Admirals and Wave. A beautiful person that did not have a mean bone in his body, and uh, we love him and miss him so much. Brian Sales passed away after heart surgery at the age of 36 with an outpouring of support from his admirals and wave family as they grieve. Not having Brian here, you know, I think there's going to be a hole in our locker room that's going to take a long time to get filled back in if it ever does. Larry and Kathy should be so proud of the legacy that they have with their son. I mean, if, if you underneath the word family in a dictionary would be that family. Brian assisted both pro teams, putting the athletes' needs in front of his own. Shown one time when Brett Favre visited a wave game. Brian was on the uh, on the bench filling up water bottles, getting ready for the game. And Kathy uh, would come down and say, Brian, we're going to go take our picture with the Mac. And she, Mom, I can't do it now. i got to take care of my players. <laughs> I remember after games with the Badger Band here, you know, he'd have to get across to get the water bottles out of the penalty boxes and the band's out there doing their thing in the middle of the ice and you know there's guys sliding on their knees and trombones all over the place and Brian is making his way across and he didn't matter he, he had a job to do and it was time to do it. Brian was diagnosed with a brain tumor at age four and the Mac Fund stepped in. We got so great support from the Mac Fund people and Johnny Mac you know and John Kerry who were just there for us. But despite serious challenges, he wasn't afraid to mix it up, like with the Waves' DeSoski twins. Todd told me, he said, hey, I came in the locker room, Larry, and Brian said, do you want some of this? In 36 years, Brian's life was shorter than most, but likely left a more lasting impression than most. Larry reached out to me the other day and asked me to do the eulogy, uh, which is a huge honor for me. Um, I mean, to see Brian grow up as long as I have, and, and along with Larry and, and Kathy and Mary, uh, it's an honor. Um, so um, I will definitely look forward to it. Somebody came to me on uh, Wednesday, the, the day that Brian passed, and said he's a pure soul. And <laughs> that really kind of sums it up. He was a very pure soul. Our prayers are with the Sales family for healing, and we are thinking of all Brian touched in his impactful 36 years. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports.